Well, hello, hello, how are you all tonight? I'm so excited to jump on here with you right quick. I was just checking the volume. Who am I? So you already know I'm Pastor Garlinda Price. I'm just adjusting my seat right quick. So what is going on on this Saturday night? So excited to see you all. I wanted to get on here to ask you what can $20 get you? right what do you get for twenty dollars and so why am i doing this video well as many of you know i'm trying to adjust my seat right as many of you know i own a business a health and wellness company and because i've been inviting everybody and their mama all of y'all to partner with us on our weight loss and our success journey hey brie brie i called you back but it went to voicemail so but i'm gonna stay focused okay but i'll message you after this video <laughs> Right, I get sidetracked when I see my girlfriends, y'all. So, anyway, I'm Pastor Girl in the Price. So, tonight, why am I on here talking to you all and why am I yelling? I'm just excited, right? What does 20 yes to the hair? If you'd have seen me earlier, I, I was not looking cute, right? But you know, I'm trying to represent for you for my sorors, for my you know, my friends. You know, y'all raised the bar so high, I'm just doing the best I can do to keep up, right? <laughs> so, I got on here tonight because I want to know what can $20 do for you because I have been blessed with some coupon codes, right? To partner with me in business, and I needed to tell you all about them. So, I know I've been posting about them, but I want to talk about it, right? Because I had the chance to get some information earlier and to study earlier about the business that I've invested in for health and wellness. Now, many of you all know I'm trying to get on sit on my ankle. Hopefully, my ankle didn't start to hurt after 50. You know, your ankles don't feel the same way as they used to, <laughs> right? So tonight, anyway, I'm going to stay, stay short and focused and to the point. I just want to talk to you about a $20 opportunity. Now, it may not be for some of you, and I respect that. It's totally okay, right? Because everything is not for everybody. But what can $20 do for many of you? So you all know that we've been sharing about our weight loss journey. We've been sharing about our keto journey. You may be tired of hearing about it. It's okay. I know, right? You know, I get tired of hearing about politics, politics and things on the news. So I don't take it personally, right? So... Let's talk. What can $20 do for you? And so I know, I want to say this is what happened earlier today. So I was talking to a friend of mine, um, Nina Moore, right? So you all may have seen me sharing some videos where Nina and I had done together talking about products. You may have seen, hey, General Teacher Caldwell, hey, Neil Presley. So you may have seen a video that we did together just talking about products and just being in business together. And, and she's just a beautiful woman. When she called me earlier today, she was on her way to her grandmother's 90th birthday so shout out to nina's grandmother happy birthday and she said something shifted with you this is what she said to me we were on um, facetime poor her she had to look at my hair looking like it didn't look like this when she called me right she said girl into something shifted and um she said there's a shift and so i said you know and, and at the time when she said it, i was so caught off guard by the fact of how horrible i looked on the video that i was i was listening to what she was saying but we were, i was too busy laughing about us being on video and she looking like a rock star and i'm looking like somebody just rolled out of bed right but i thought about it after she and i hung up when she said garland does something for you shift it and as many of you know that God, you know, I get up every morning. I don't get up early like I used to, but I get up and I spend time with God to hear God and to listen to God. And one thing that God shared with me the other day is he said, I'm taking you up on a high ledge, right? And so I remember my sister, shout out to Dr. Patrice Carter. I remember my sister ministering at our women's conference about being on a, in the high place, right? So I know Sabrina remembers that she was at the women's conference and we didn't film it, right? Because it was, you know, a private moment with God, but she talked about how God had taken her to the high place. And every time she would look down, she would fall down from the high place. Amen. And so I'm talking about a couple of different things that so y'all just bear with me tonight, but I'm talking about what can $20 do for you, right? Because I am in business. I do have a business. I do have coupon codes where you can partner with me in business for $20. But I want to tell you where the shift is that took place for me that Nina was talking about earlier. So my sister said every time she would go higher in God, she would look down and she would fall. But she would fall way down, like to the point where you would hear it. She would splat when she hit the ground and God would take her up again. And, she, and he would continue to take her to the high place. But this last time when she said, I think it was four times before she decided to look out instead of look down. And God said, don't come down from the high place, 
right? And so the other day when God was ministering to me, what he shared with me is he said, Garlinda, I'm taking you up on a high ledge. Well, now y'all know I'm I'm a little funny about heights, right? But God, however high you want to go, I'm with you. It's me, you, and God, let's rock it, right? I, wherever you want to take me, Lord, I'm not afraid of high altitudes and I'm not afraid of high places. Get me on up there, God. And so God said, I'm taking you out onto a high ledge. He said, and I'm taking you to a new place. And so when Nina called me this morning and she said that, it was just confirmation of what God was sharing with me. But that was two days ago. So what I realized between two days ago and today when she made that phone call to me is that I have a responsibility. All of a sudden yesterday or the day before yesterday, I became so clear, it became so clear to me that I have an obligation. I have an obligation in the kingdom, right? And so I, I don't know, all of a sudden it became clear to me, God, even though I've already known this and you probably already know this for yourself too, God, I know that you've called me to women in business. I know that you've called me to men in business, but I know that I'm a, a leader's leader. I know that I'm a pastor's pastor. I know that I'm a prophet's prophet. I know that I'm a general's general. I know those things about myself, right? But I walk in it now, right? So between two days ago and today, when she said, Garlinda, something's different about you, I know now who I am. I have kingdom authority, right? And so God, you've given me kingdom, not for me to be blessed by myself. You gave me kingdom because I have a responsibility to bless other people. And so therefore, if I let fear and I operate in the realm of fear, then I'm not doing what God called me to do. And I know that I'm a king. I am a kingdom, not just citizen. He told me I'm a kingdom governor. I'm a kingdom ruler. What kingdoms has God put you over? Right, because he's put all of us over a kingdom, right? Tisha, General Tisha Caldwell, kingdom of business, right? Realtor, right? He's put her over kingdom of praise and worship. So that's arts, media, and entertainment. So that's two kingdoms that she has to dominate in, the kingdom of ministry. My best friend and my sorority sister, um, Sabrina Richardson, the kingdom of, of finances, right? The kingdom of business. What kingdom has God put you? My friend Nicole Morrison and my business partner, right? I'm on an amazing team of just some fantastic, just rock stars right but god has called us and forced us into a place of destiny where now it's not about us i used to do things for me I, this is not what i got on here to talk about i got on here to, and but i'm going to focus on the 20 dollars idea but i want to teal the soil for you to tell you why i'm talking about it god did i used to say god give me this god give me that god bless me with this god bless me with that and i would name the top 10 things i wanted when god blessed me with it but in this season i remember god sharing with me earlier this year he said girl to stay humble number one number two where you're going it's not for you right where you're going is for other people but you're just going to be blessed by virtue of the fact that i'm taking you there first but you can't forget people when you get where you're going in other words i've got to take people with me so whatever god has called us into we can't go by ourselves right where we're going is too big to go alone, right? And so what can $20 do for you? That's the whole point, right? So whatever your business is, of course, you may not be interested in mine. Whatever God has called you to, it may not be something that's for me, but all of us has a kingdom responsibility. And so all of a sudden, hey, y'all, when God spoke that thing to me about I'm taking you to a high ledge the other day, I took responsibility. Oh, good God Almighty. I became accountable. I said, Garlinda, you're going to be accountable. It's too many people out here in the kingdom that are struggling, trying to figure out how they're going to pay their bills and how they're going to make ends meet and what they're going to do day to day, day by day to pay the light bill, to pay the car bill, to pay the mortgage, to pay the house note. How's the pastor going to make it? How's the apostle going to make it? The prophet is out here giving the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ and then going home and trying to figure out how they're going to pay their bills. That does not line up. But it's not, and I'm not going to say it's our fault kingdom of God people but it's our responsibility it's not our fault because we haven't done anything wrong but we we have done we will be doing something wrong Marvin yes. can you hand me a pillow please we will be doing something wrong when we don't walk in it because of fear when we say okay well God what are people gonna say what are people gonna think right what are people gonna do thank you you know what what if nobody buys? What if nobody supports? Then you got to remember why you're doing it. 
right? Remember why, oh, that's so much better. My ankle's like, no, thank you. We're not going to make it my 50 year old ankle. So we got to remember what is the kingdom that God has given us governance over, right? What will $20 do for you? So I got on here tonight and my first initial thing to get on here to talk about was that I have my, you know, people can partner with me in business for $20, but God said, no, the first thing I want you to talk about is talk to my marketplace ministers. Those of you that or have been assigned a kingdom, right? You've been signed multiple kingdoms. I've already named at least three of us on here are over multiple kingdoms. What does that mean? That means that God put you over business, then he put you over business and finances, right? Tisha Singh, so she's over arts, media, and entertainment, but she owns a business. She's a real estate broker. What are we doing with the kingdoms to change the kingdom? What are we doing with the kingdoms that God has given us governance over to support and to show other people within that same realm with us how they can improve their lives. So I'm talking to the people that may need my business tonight, may need my opportunity tonight, may be interested tonight, but I want to sow the seed to my fellow generals, right? My fellow ministers, my fellow pastors, my fellow disciples, right? You may say, Garland, I'm watching you, but I'm not in ministry. We're all ministers. We, we've already covered that, right? <laughs> That's basic 101. If, you, if you're saved, you're a Christian, you're a minister because we all are disciples of Christ. So that's already clear, okay? So what can you do with $20? So God just made it so clear for me the other day that I have a responsibility, one, to help people get healthy. I have a responsibility, two, to get people in shape. Why has God called me to get people in shape? Y'all, this is what's funny about God putting me and placing me in the health and wellness arena because Marvin Price just walked in, but Marvin can tell you, he would say, girl, Linda, let's go run. I say, I ain't running nowhere unless it's a dog chasing behind me. I, there's no reason to run. Like, no one's in pursuit, right? It said the... Um, that the um, wicked run when no one pursueth, right? So I'm like, I don't have any reason to be running. Now, when I go walking, I don't feel right walking if I'm not running. Like God gave me such a zeal and a passion to lose weight and a zeal and a passion to get in shape. Why? He said, girl, Linda, he told me this last year and some of y'all need to take this to heart because I'm not the only one, you know, I love you, right? But he said, the places where I'm taking you to go, you got to get in shape and you can't go if you're out of shape, right? Uh, and I say this all the time, but them demons would be running me about that church now. But now I'm ready for them now. I have endurance. Hello? Ask anybody that came to our women's conference. We can be here all night. We started at 3. We didn't leave there till almost midnight each night. Right? So God gave me, he blessed me with endurance because I lost weight. He blessed me with longer life because I lost weight. He blessed me to get in shape because he said, I've called you to nations, right? I know that's so cliche that everybody says, I'm called to the nations. But a nation could be a person from Africa or a person from Puerto Rico or a person from Canada or a person from the islands that I'm right here in, this, in, the, in North Carolina talking to. That's nations, right? But how am I going to sit there trying to tend with them and pray for them and talk to them and minister to them and, and have endurance with them if I'm out of breath and like, you know, the Lord said, and I said, and I, but I'm out of breath. It's not because I'm preaching, right? Or because I have a, um, a ha, 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 ha. Let me stay focused, okay? But so how am I going to minister to them if I'm not in shape? Right, and so it's so funny that God would give me one thing that I was totally not passionate about, which is health and wellness. I really was just like, I love food. I, I eat, I live to eat. I don't eat to live, right? That was my past thought. And Martin would always say that he ate, he eats to live. I'm like, Ugh, whatever, man. He's not a foodie, right? <laughs> but I'm just saying, I love to eat. And so I had, what God has taught me through weight loss and through losing weight is discipline. Because God said, if you cannot be disciplined in your mind over food, you can't be disciplined over money. You can't be disciplined over ministry. You can't be disciplined over anything. Like, And I'm not saying it to hurt y'all's heart. That's how God hurt my heart. Right? So when I talk about losing weight and, it, and I'm looking at a donut and it's calling my name and I want to eat it, its cousins, and all of its little family members in the box with it, I don't because of discipline. And I still fall off the wagon because of some cheeseburgers and fries, but... It's just funny that God called me to health and wellness, right, as a business. And so you all know it's no secret that I've lost weight since last year and I was with a different company. And God, you know, even in that, I knew that it was an assignment. So even this is an assignment, right? So whatever God has called you to, whatever your kingdom assignment is, do it with excellence. Whatever your kingdom assignment is, do it, right? Be about your father's business, but let's not do this. Let's not miss the assignment because it doesn't look like what we thought it would be. 
right? Because sometimes we miss the assignment because of the messenger. We don't like where the messenger, who the, who the Lord sent as the messenger with our blessing, right? So then we miss it because we don't like them, right? Or we miss it because it's in a target area that I ain't doing, I don't even like that, right? Now, if he had said, Garlinda, it's in food and franchise ownership, oh, I'd have been like, oh, how am, I, how am I gonna own a pizza franchise or a soul food buffet, right? He knew not to do that because I would have had no discipline. <laughs> so we, we have to sometimes look for God in areas and hear God in areas that are contrary to what we think we want or what we think would be good for us. And so that's part of what I wanted to share tonight. I didn't mean to share that, but that's what the Lord would have me to share. So what can $20 do for you? So now you all already know that I do own a business with It Works Wraps. Well, right now we have an opportunity to partner for people to partner with us in business for 20 bucks. Like when I think about that and I think, you know, and I thought about it and I was like, God, who wouldn't jump on an opportunity to start a business for $20? But I've been surprised that many people won't. And I was a little surprised that many people have it, but I realized, one, everything's not for everybody. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Or some things God brought the money down for. It used to be $99 to join It Works, and it will be in a little while. It's going to go back to $99, right? But when people say, well, I couldn't afford it at $99, the Lord stepped down. I'm just giving you Garland a stock process. The Lord said, okay, there's going to be a lot of people that want to start a business. They want to go into health and wellness. They want to do something different. They, they've always watched these health and wellness businesses and wanted to be a part of it, but they couldn't afford $99. So the Lord knew that there would be somebody right now in this season that couldn't afford $99. So he said, I'm going to bow it down. I'm going to bring the price down to $20 so you can join. Now, you may say, Garland, that's too high mind. That's too spiritual thinking. You're just being too spooky. I'm telling you how I think. Because he said, when I hear the cries of my servants, he said, I stepped down. He said, I peeled back the windows of heaven. He said, I heard the, the cries of my servants. I stepped down into, out of eternity into the natural realm. I came down and I was hidden under the rain clouds. He said, I was hidden under the cloak of darkness. He said, I came and I lifted them out of a, um, out of a, um, from the hands of the enemy. And I lifted them out of the miry and the murky clay. And I placed them and expanded them on the solid ground, right? So for somebody, God said, okay, $99 is going to be too much for you, but I'm going to open the door for $20. Right, so you may say, well, no, God doesn't think like that, but God does think like that, and God does talk like that, and God does do things like that. See, right now, everybody's so focused on what's going on in the government, what's going on with voting, and it's a distraction. I need the kingdom-minded people to get it right. Kingdom. I'm talking to y'all, right? I'm not talking to the heathen, not that there's any heathens watching, but I'm talking to kingdom. This is your time. This is your opportunity. This is your appointed hour to get your business right, to get, to, to get kingdom business right. Because God has opened some doors for us. And what we do is we don't walk in the door because we overthink it right? Nina said to me the other day, you overthink stuff. Stop, stop overthinking it, right? And I was. And so don't overthink a $20 decision. I mean, seriously, right? So again, I know my business is not for everybody, but let me tell you what $20 can do for you. So within the last 30 to 45 days, I launched my business on September 28th, right? So I've been in business for less than a month. So we closed out our first month as a team. We call it the fitness revolution, right? So our team right here on Facebook is a closed group, closed out with $57,000 and paid out bonuses over our entire team. That is gangster. And everybody on that team has been in business less than 45 days. Less than 45 days, they closed out $57,000 worth of bonuses. So when I hear people say it doesn't work, no, it works. When I hear people say that there's no money in these types of businesses, that's because they haven't seen anyone that made it or they didn't make money, right? So just because we hear something doesn't mean it's the truth and it doesn't have to be our truth, right? So out of the $57,000, you may say, well, what was each person's share? It was broken down so crazily that let's say from the least, they got $150 in free product, the most $23,500 in bonuses, right? Nina, she's somewhere on here. Her picture might've gone now, but just earned $23,500 in bonuses. Yes, she's been in the network marketing space, but so what? Somebody got $500. 
right? Who couldn't use an extra $500? So I want to tell you, what, what could $20 do for you? Fallon Rice is a um, beautiful African-American young lady, used to be a CPA in our business, paid off $250,000 worth of student loans debt, loan debt with a $99 kit. So God had me thinking, Garlinda, you have a responsibility. Don't you be worried about what people think. Don't you be worried about what people say. Don't you be worried about who does and who doesn't because I know who I have an opportunity for. That's what the Lord said, right? So whatever your business is, the Lord already knows who your client is going to be. He knows who your business partners are going to be. He knows what you're going to do. But for $20, what could $20 do for your life? Well, for $99, because it wasn't $20 when Nina joined, it wasn't $20 when I joined, $99 just got Nina Rochelle Moore $23,500, right? $99 got me close to $500 in my first 30 days. And I didn't really even, you know, I just was using the products and losing the weight. Right? And just sharing with people, hey, these products work. They're plant-based. They're awesome. And in addition to that, $150 in free products that I'm still waiting to come so I can look even greater, right? So what's in your $20 kit? What's in your $99 kit? So let me show you what came in the $20 kit, right? Because I have an extra one. So for $20, of course, you know you're going to get a catalog and you're going to get some business cards, right? $20. What, what's in your $20 kit? So then what else comes in here? You're going to get four wraps. Well, you may have heard back in the day, I tried those wraps. I didn't lose weight. They're not weight loss wraps. They're for toning and tightening. Who has cellulite? I hate to raise my hand, y'all, but I got some cellulite. I got it on my little bags on the side of my thighs, and I got a little bit on the hind parts back in the back, right? But who has cellulite? So you're going to get four wraps that come in your kit. And they come in, so inside here are four of these little packets. But people have lost with these little packets inches. I've been sharing before and after photos in our group. But let me just tell you, this little packet, there's four of them, right? So let's do the math. You partner with us in business for $20. You're going to get a free website. Well, it becomes, it's $19 a month, but that's covered in your fees, right? You're going to get a website where people can buy from you on the cell phone. Everybody that's ordered from me, they haven't called me to order. They've gone to the website, right? So if it's $20 to join, a pack of these retail for $100, right? The discounted price of these, I think is like $59, right? So... There's four in here. That means that if you got four in here, you could sell each of these for $25. Do the math. Sabrina is a um, comptroller, a CEO of accounting, right? She knows how to add. But if you pay $20 and four of these is can sell for $25, that's $100. So the company paid you to join $80. So where's, there's no loss in partnering with, a, with us in business that it works for $20. They sent you a pack of wraps. There's four in here. Each one sells for $25. That's $100 in wraps. You only paid $20 plus tax to join. They paid you $80 in this kit alone to partner with them, right? What else comes in the kit? So for $20, these two packs of coffee, y'all drank one, so you'll see it torn open, <laughs> right? But they're mine, right? So you get the keto coffee. Oh my gosh. So let's say you didn't drink them. Let's say that you really got a hustle going on and you say, listen, I'm not drinking them. I'm selling them. These little packs can sell for anywhere from $5 to $6 a pack. So if you had four wraps, that's $100. You had two packs of keto coffee and you sold your two packs of keto coffee. That's $10. So this is $110 and you paid what? $20 to join. In addition to that, you got two little samples of the It Works Energy. I drank one. No, I didn't drink this one. I gave this one to some, a friend of mine. Shout out to Apostle Greg Farmer came over earlier. His um, beautiful wife is already my client. But now he became my client today on two products. I'm going to share with you which ones. So he was sitting here. He was out riding his motorcycle. He said, girl, what's that? He calls me girl. Girl, what's that? I said, these are energy tabs. I said, but listen, I need to keep my little piece of paper because I got to do a video later, right? So he put it in his mouth and it wasn't even 15 minutes. He is talking our heads off. He said, I think that stuff kicked in. So now you can sell these for $3 a piece. So here it is. You paid $20 to partner with me in business. You get four wraps. This is, there's four inside of here that look like this. They're $25 each. That's $100. $110, these sell for $3 each, so that's $116, right? And then it came with two greens on the go. Of course, I gave him a greens on the go, so he drank that one, and then this one I drank. 
<laughs> right? So, cause they're my little samples, right? But you can sell these for $3. So what is that? $119. So you pay $20 to join, but you received $119 worth of products in your kit, right? In addition to that, you ended up with a catalog, business cards, we call them blitz cards, and a website. Now, tell me $20 couldn't change your life if Nina Rochelle Moore came in and just made $23,500 from her $99 kit. Fallon Rice paid off $250,000 worth of student loan debt from her kit, right? I earned additional $500 in my first three weeks in business from my $99 kit. It like more than paid for itself, right? So that's what I wanted to share with you all on tonight. Those of you that joined us late, I want you to go back and listen to it from the beginning because as kingdom business owners that God has placed us over the kingdom of government, we have a responsibility to share with people our businesses, right? So tonight, I'm personally sharing my business as It Works Wraps. You may say, I've heard of It Works. Well, if you heard it and didn't partner with us, it's something wrong, right? You didn't get the good information. You didn't get the facts because it works, right? So I want you, those of you that are looking for a part-time business, I'm a real estate broker by trade. And Lord knows if you don't sell a house, you don't eat right? You're going to eat, but I'm, you know what I mean. If you sell a house and when the, when, when the market is slow, then you're somewhere trying to figure out, Lord, what is we's going to do, right? And even when the market is great, you want to set money aside, but you need a tax write off at that point because you're making a significant amount of money. But what if you say, I don't want to sell houses anymore, right? Because at 55, I'm not selling another house. I don't care, right? I'm joking, God, whatever you want to do, right? But if the Lord said today, Garlinda, you're retiring from real estate, what is your plan, right? And so the kingdom of God, I'm talking the kingdom-minded citizens, God is saying that he's given us a responsibility to show other people the way, right? Whatever your business is, is to be a blessing to somebody else. So today, tonight, I got on here to bless you with my business of It Works Wraps. You can join for $20, right? There's four of these. You can make $100 in here. It's four wraps times $25 wrap cash. You can join this business and get paid to join the business for $20, but we have a responsibility to impact and change the lives of other people. I want to thank all the people that have become my loyal customers ordering weight loss products because guess what? When I lost the weight and I still have weight to lose, but when I lost the first 25 pounds, I feel like a new person. And even though I still look in the mirror and I'm like, oh, you got more weight to lose. Oh, you could look better. That's, um, the enemy, right, telling me that I don't look good enough, but I look good enough. God said, Garland, to go lose weight because I'm sending you out. And God is telling many of you in ministry, you got to get in shape. You got to get healthy. You got to get better from the inside out because we've got to go out and be a witness, right? We got to live longer and God is calling us to do better. These Somebody mentioned it to me yesterday and I really took it to heart what they said, but they said that they had not been a good steward over their health. I was like, that is huge. She said, I've not been a good steward over my health because we think about stewardship as money, right? But, but there are things that God blesses us with that we don't steward well all the time. And one thing that I was not stewarding well was my health. One thing I was not stewarding well was the discipline of what I was eating and everything I was doing. Even though I would eat it and I felt horrible after I ate it, it, felt, it tasted good while I was eating it, right? But after it settled, after the dust settled and it got in my stomach, I felt terrible. And so God is telling us we've got to be a better steward over our health because we're not going to get a second chance, right? We got to we gotta rock this thing out. We got people to save, not what God saves. We have people to witness to, to lead to the kingdom of God, right? There are people that are supposed to partner with us in business, but if we don't tell them about our business, how can they partner with us? And see, this is the other thing that the person shared with me. They said they don't think about who doesn't want their opportunity. They think about the person that God said is staying up at night crying because they're trying to figure out how they're going to pay their bills. They're trying to figure out um, how they're going to make ends meet. They're trying to figure out how they're going to pay for Christmas. They're trying to figure out what are they going to do when their business slows down. And so if I would stop worrying about myself as a business owner, right? Worrying about what people are going to think and just go do the work of the Lord, right? The greatest thing that God could ever call us to do is to serve in the kingdom. And God has anointed me to serve in the kingdom of business. And so I don't care what people think. God, if you call me to serve in the kingdom of business, I'm going to share this business and I'm going to find, and I'm going to tell everybody and their mama, you can partner with me in business this month for $20, right? It will not last long. I only have, I think I have 
16 coupon codes left, right? So we each got 20, um, those of us that registered for conference. So I only have 16 coupon codes left. So if you're watching me tonight and you say, girl, Linda Price, I want to partner with you in business for $20. You've got to call me and get one of the coupon codes, period. And so what is the catch? There is no catch. What do you want? You may just want a tax write-off, right? Because I'm a good, y'all, let me tell y'all. If you sell real estate and you make a significant amount of money, oh my good Lord Almighty, when you got to pay taxes at the end of the year, it's very painful. <laughs> it's worse than getting a shot when you get your tax bill, right? And, you know, and if you don't have kids, right, you need a tax write-off. But also what's painful is to see people that we don't offer the business to because we're afraid we do them such a disservice because that means that we're selfish. We're thinking more about what are other people going to think versus how many people can I help? So tonight, if you join me on tonight and you are saying, God, I've been praying for an opportunity. The opportunity may not look like what you expect it to look like. I'm so happy helping people lose weight. I'm so happy teaching people keto lifestyle. I'm so happy showing people how to get in shape. And no, you may not be able to afford every product, but start with a product, right? We were on our site. We've already taught product videos. So tonight I'm only on here to say, if you are trying to figure out what am I going to do as my next phase in life to make money or to make ends meet or to get a business started in case my business goes slower, goes downhill, you can partner with me and it works global. I'm super excited about it. And it's just $20. And like I said, we just closed out our team, our largest month, and we've all been in business as a team less than 45 days and combined earned over $57,000 worth of bonuses, right? And almost the entire team promoted. I promoted to an executive, right? And then you may say, well, what does that mean? That means I got a higher commission. Right, so everybody promote it. And you may say, well, Garlinda, I'm not a salesperson. I'm not either. I love helping people. I love helping people lose weight. And I never would have thought I'd say that when Marvin Price would say, let's go running and jogging. I ain't doing that. <laughs> right now, I'll go and he doesn't go as often as he used to because I don't, God shifted something in me. But God said, Garlinda, you know, I've given you an, a responsibility and now you're accountable. So God has given you too a responsibility and now you're accountable to whatever that gift and calling is to go run the race for somebody else there's somebody waiting on us right and i'm not going to leave here without one person he sent me for when i get up there and he's not going to say depart from me you door of iniquity he's going to say garlinda well done you reached everybody i sent you to you reached you told everybody you could help them lose weight you told everybody they could make money partnering with you in business and not only that you want to be in, in business with people that have integrity Oh, good Lord Almighty. Now, we could preach a whole sermon on that. But you want to be in business with people that have integrity, that have great character, right? And so I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to have weight loss surgery and then tell you that's how I lost weight, right? Because I, that happened in our last company, right? There were people that they, they had had weight loss surgery, and but they, they were up here, you know, looking great, looking beautiful, but they had not genuinely lost weight losing the products, right using the products and so i'm not i just you gotta have integrity so i'm gonna go because i'm rambling but for those of you that hear this video now or you'll listen to it later on i want you to partner with me in business if you've been believing god for a part-time business twenty dollars you can partner with me and it works global and if you say well what is there to lose nothing you're gonna get some great products and at best we spend twenty i would go spend twenty dollars tonight on hibachi <laughs> Right? Think about it. But in your $20 kit could be a lot of things. For some people, $20 is going to be Christmas presents. For some people, $20 is going to be the light bill. Right? You don't know what's in your kit. Think about it. This kit for Nina was $23,500. This same kit for somebody else, this pack of coffee for somebody else paid off student loans. This kit for somebody else paid their light bill and their car note. Right? And this same product for somebody else paid tuition for their college age student, right? It could have been anything. It could have been their cell phone bill, right? People have needs. And so in the kingdom, it's our responsibility as kingdom citizens and kingdom government to make it happen. So I love you all. God bless you. I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will talk to you soon. I'm Garlinda Price. So if you want to say, Garlinda, what, what's your website? Well, one, you have to direct message me in order to get the coupon code, right? So I want you to direct message me right here on Facebook, or you can text me at 910. I'm going to put my phone number here. 494-7798, but I'm going to put my phone number. And you may say, well, Garlinda, why are you giving everybody your phone number? Y'all, I'm Googleable. You are too. Anybody can find you on whitepages.com, right?
So anyway, text me or direct message me. That's my cell phone number, 910-494-7798 and say, Garlinda, I want a code. I will send you a $20 coupon code and the details of what you need to do to get started. And let's go build something epic, okay? I love you all. God bless you. Talk to you soon.